It's going to be, it's going to be tough for him to do that, but what, what is, is in his favour? He absolutely loves snooker, he plays in everything, he's, he's a genuine, sort of passionate player. He's got a chance if he can keep on sort of remaining, you know, having some belief. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, it was probably a little unlucky not to be in the UK Championship so final. Had a chance in that final frame against Mark frame. Allen, but it was not to Stuart be. To I wonder if he's got anything left now. Here we go. Thank you, Hazel. Yes, it's uh, what you know. You mentioned that UK. That's what's so bizarre about it because he just played brilliantly there all week. I mean, well, definitely not in the script. Well, I'll be shocked. Ronnie Sullivan doesn't play for the black from this red. Pretty comfortable shot to play, especially 5-2 ahead. You can play a couple of ways. You can just drop it in off one cushion or stun off the two. Put the black to the same pocket. Oh. Hmm. A little bit surprised by that. Okay, barring the flick on the red, he'd been perfect on the blue, but... Oh, he would have paid for black there. Ronnie O'Sullivan won. Best. Left Stuart Bingham at natural angle to get around the back of the black here. Yeah, I think those what we call figure eight shots are proven very hard to play on this particular table under cloth sliding. That's an excellent opening pot from Stuart. One. Do Fine. really there was pop the brown and try another. Oh, we got the cue ball over. Had a, maybe a shot to nothing off the loose red at the side. Well, he thinks he can get through and play it into the other corner. Always going to be difficult that. Stuart Bingham five. Choice of shot there. Come on. Interesting choice of shot there. Come on, Sullivan. He could have played a more positive safety shot using the bunch of reds, opened them up, got a good white, would have put his opponent under a lot of pressure, but choosing to keep it tight. As I said earlier, it doesn't take many risks. Well, as I say, I agree with that. You know, the other one that's five to up, Stuart's got to chase the game. You don't need to be opening the reds for him. Nothing wrong with that approach in my book.
Yeah, I don't think there'll be any alarm what? bells ringing yet, but the last thing you want is for this to match this match to last longer than it needs to. You want to just get it over, done and dusted, and get into the next round. Because Stuart, if he does get his confidence back, can rattle off frames pretty quickly. Eight. Nine. Seventeen. Uh, another example of not quite having enough purchase on the cue ball there, but to take the cue ball in the book area and back round towards the reds. Nicely played. And played in the area there where he could have the red in the middle or the one in the corner. Twenty-two. And all of a sudden. He's starting to hit the ball a little better. Twenty-three. And that stage at the moment where he probably thinks it's last chance saloon. I can't really win this match. I might as well have a go. Loosen up. And sometimes you can get yourself right back in a match that way. Thirty. Yeah, your whole attitude changes. You stop when you're in a break. You stop thinking 31. about what could go wrong because you just you just in the moment you just play the shots because you virtually resign yourself to defeat. Thirty-eight. Forty six. Forty-seven. No, great shot. Fifty-five. Mm, another slight deceleration, really through the ball there, and the extension on your cue, but still should have been better than this. So this is a horrible little shot. Yeah, the fact is he started potting balls. I don't expect him to miss this at all. <laughs> okay, kind of make sure the pot. Didn't really concentrate a lot on the positional side of the 62. shot. Yeah, the fact is, he started potting balls. I don't expect him to miss this at all. 
Okay, kind of made sure the pot. Didn't really concentrate a lot on the positional side of the 62. shot. 66 ahead, 67 on the table. So this red to the far left corner. Than, than he needed to. Yeah, I must confess I didn't see him missing that one. Particularly as he had no work to do with the cue ball there. I thought it was just a nice simple stunt. But he has missed. And what a chasey shot that was for the first red. I was just looking at it, John, and I was thinking, is this what? natural to go for this red and get back down for the black? It turned out it was. Well, what a way to end a match this would be. Five reds, five blacks, and all the colours to win by one point. Not ideal on this. He's a little bit low. This is tough to hold. He'd love to can in the pink here, wouldn't he? What a shot that would be. And he still put a fabulous shot. Well, that is his to say it's only the, the enormity of the situation really the reds are pretty well placed obviously position wise it's got to be absolutely pinpoint and has he gone far enough for that cue ball may just be able to follow through use the other red 16 come down for the black in fact didn't even make contact 17. with the other red okay Stephen what red do you play on here <laughs> I think I'd be tempted to play for the red nearest his, his hand. No. Does he go around the world 24. with the cue ball? Doesn't he look like he's got enough angle even to play that shot? Stun the cue ball in. He's played for the tie. Yeah, 25. Now, can he screw across the face of this red and leave it for the middle pocket without getting the cannon? Yep. So, right onto the black, clearance, and a respot. 31. Stuart Bingham's resigned himself to the fact that he'll be tossing a coin in a second. <laughs> yeah, I think he's in his mind thinking, will it go for heads or tails? 41. How was it tails every time? Were you, you John? Oh. I can't remember. 44. I just be, I know Stuart's sitting there in his chair and I'll be thinking, why did I not just knock that red in? So he didn't have much to do with the cue ball. It was one he just needed to stick in the middle of the pocket and it would have been frame over. And there's been an inevitability about this break. Okay. 59. Uh, excellent opening red. And a very good clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Oh, yes, and he's got a respot. I think it's the first one of this year's tournament. Referee Paul Collier take the set coin out of his pocket. Ronnie says a tail. And it is a tail, and he's put Stuart Bingham into bat. Well, the modern way of playing this shot is to put the black on one side cushion, the white ball on the other Settle side down cushion. Down, a right smile when it came to the table, Stuart. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's a shot you'll play in. In an ideal world, you want the cue ball just slightly higher than the object ball when you play that, because it makes it that little bit more difficult. <laughs> Could have played it better. Maybe is he forced into playing the double? Or just birdie the black onto the, the middle of the black cushion? No, he's done neither. And I don't think he's left the possibility of a double to the left middle. The most important thing in this situation is just get the black safe. Okay, sometimes you don't get a good white, but just don't leave a pot on. Yeah, he didn't play the pot there. There's a few oohs and ahs from the crowd, but it's just a safety trying to stick it on the top cushion. It's not a brilliant shot he's played there. All right, thank you. Ronnie's had a look at the pot and angle. This for the match. Played a good cue ball. Yeah, now Stewart's having a look at this, but he's got an easier shot to hit it from behind. A little bit of right hand side, play the back cushion and flick the, the black down the table. Of course, you can't absolutely get, guarantee what. Excuse me, where the black's going to finish. <laughs> he's played it superbly well. Couldn't play that any better. Well, if he's playing the black up over the spots on the middle of the table, it's a very tough shot. Looks like he's playing a similar shot to what Stuart played at the start of this respot. And played it well. Up at the table from Stewart. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try to get too thin a contact. Nothing worse, so I wasn't surprised it was a tiny bit thick. He got very lucky indeed there. He's come round to look at the pot and angle. He's going this for this. This is well, it's a tough shot. Now it's Ronnie's turn to have the results. It was a good attempt. This shot to stay in the match. How are you going to get it safe? Playing with a lot of right hand side. That's a brilliant shot. That's a brilliant shot. You ain't kidding. What a shot that is. I didn't think it was on. I thought it was double control day long. No, that was brilliantly played. Yeah, that was a shot you could not decelerate on. It's been a couple of little lucky shots to be safe, but it's been pretty much top drawer. Oh, well, we've had 14 shots so far. Here's the 15th. Find it out, please. Can Ronnie O'Sullivan knock this in and win the match? This is his third attempt at a pot. And it's there. The cue ball's not in the middle pocket, so it's Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's been pretty impressive today. Stuart Bingham has not been at his best by a long way.